Back now to that pursuit we have been covering. It was wild, it was violent, it was very, very dangerous. Lasted the better part of two hours. It has since come to an end, but not before leaving a trail of destruction across North Orange County into Los Angeles County. Orange County Bureau Chief Chip Yost is live in Anaheim along the path of that pursuit with one of a number of victims in this scene tonight. Chip. Uh, yeah, you're right, Mike. A number of victims, and this is one of the earlier victims, John Reynolds, right here. Uh, we're in a neighborhood near La Palma and Orange Thorpe. Um, step forward here, for more, here a little bit there. Um, John, we saw a white van being driven around by this guy. That was stolen. That was your van. Tell me what happened. Correct. And, and while that happened, it, it was unbeknownst to me. Okay. <laughs> me and my family, we, me, my wife and my two kids, we were over at Knott's Berry Farm. And we were leaving Knott's Berry Farm when we saw all the police activity up in the sky. And as we were walking out, we saw a sheriff driving down the one-way street to get out of Knott's Berry Farm. And I said, honey, this is serious. And I said, the perpetrator could be right here at Knott's Berry Farm if the sheriffs are driving down the opposite way on the one-way street. Did you know there was a pursuit at that point or no? I, I, I didn't know exactly. We No, we didn't know exactly what was going on. We just knew that there was a lot of police activity real close. Mm -hmm. And then when I saw the sheriff driving the wrong way on a one-way street, hauling butt with his siren, I mean, with his lights and siren on, I said, okay, honey, we need to get to the car. We were walking to the car. I said, let's just get to the car as soon as possible because the perpetrator could be right here at Knott's Berry Farm, okay? So while this is all happening, we're watching all the police activity, by the time we get to our to my car, because actually I parked at the um, 76 station on Crescent because that's one of my convenience stores that I do for work, and they let me park there instead of paying for parking at Knott's Berry Farm. So we had a little bit further to walk. We had to walk outside of Knott's Berry Farm. And as we were walking, more and more police were coming and coming, and then by the time we got to the car and got the kids in the car, and I got in the car, all the helicopters were gone. I said, man, the police were here as fast as they were gone. And, right? when, and when did you realize your van was well, involved in yeah, this? Yeah, and, and that's what I'm getting to. So so that's the whole strange thing. While all that police activity is going on, my van has not been stolen yet. So what happened is, when we're now driving on my way home, the president of the, of the HOA calls me up and says, John, I think somebody just stole your van. Now, I'm thinking she's half kidding, but, but, but that's not really a joking thing. But I'm thinking she, she's... She's got to be wrong because, I mean, what are the chances, right? Uh, uh, seeing all that police activity and it's because they stole my van just didn't seem very likely, right? Very believable. So I said, okay, well, hold on. We're almost home. I'm going to check it out. So as soon as we pulled into the parking lot, sure enough, there were the police, and I could see where I had my van parked, and it was gone, and I'm like, oh, my God. So I get out of the van. I mean, I, we get out of my car. And I, I start walking over to the police and I, and I said, yeah, that was my van. He goes, oh, that was your van? I said, yeah, the police officer. He goes, well, yeah, they just rammed my police car. I said, they rammed your car? He's all, yeah, to get out of the parking spot. I said, and he showed So me, he used your van to ram the police car? He used my van and, I, and they got it on video somewhere. He's backing out because the police car is right up against my van. And he's just ramming it, boom, boom. And it's a real heavy refrigerated van. So he was able to actually push the police car out of his way and with my van and, and, and squeeze his way out. When you and, saw that on video, this is your van. What are you thinking? I'm thinking, what am I going to do about work tomorrow? I need that for work. That was the first thought I had. It's like, what am I going to do? I don't have a van. I said, I got, I got to rent a van ASAP from U-Haul. So anyways, um, so anyways, they told me that the, the pursuit is still going on. I said, so they're still chasing him. And he said, yeah. And so the police officer was like, yeah, look, he, he ran my car. He showed me his police vehicle. And then he showed me all the skid marks on the ground in the parking area where he was pushing the police car out of his way. In a way, and was this parked next to your home here? 
Yeah. I live right here, and it's about, what, maybe 100 yards away I have my van park. In a way, seeing how crazy this guy was acting, are you kind of glad you weren't home when it happened? You didn't witness it because of what this guy might have done? Well, uh, it's, it's hard to say. I'm sure I wouldn't have even noticed if I was home and that happened. Maybe I would have, maybe I wouldn't have. I don't know, but yeah, what's, what's, what's first and foremost and most important is that my wife and my children are safe, and we thank God for that, absolutely. And, and like you said, though, now you're out of a work van. What do you do? What, what was in there? What do you do for a living, and, and how's this going to affect you? I'm a, I'm a food distributor, mostly fruit, and I, and I service convenience stores, and I have some other major distributor accounts. And so... Yeah, a lot of people rely on me because their convenience stores are open every single day and I have to make deliveries so they have products for their customers. So you're trying to figure out what you're going to do. Like I'm scrambling right now. And when I pulled up, you are saying you talked to the police about picking up your car, What? but we saw it on TV. What kind of condition is that van? This is the van, if everybody watching, uh, this is the van uh, that was involved in the pursuit before the guy got in the pickup truck and stole that. Um, your, from your understanding, what's the condition of, of the van? I don't know the condition of the van. Um, I'm getting mixed. Um, I'm getting mixed reports about that. At first, they were telling they're telling me they think I'm going to be able to pick, be able to go and get my van and get it towed to wherever I need to because they think it's just a flat tire and they should be calling me any time. Well, this is about an hour and a half ago, and I still haven't heard from them. So I'm hoping that they're going to call me and it's still usable and I can go and pick up my van and get it towed to my mechanic and then have him take a look at it and see exactly what I need to do to get it fixed. All right, well, best of luck to you. Sorry this All happened, right. but glad you and your family are okay. It was Absolutely. a crazy, crazy day uh, what happened there. Yeah. Um, it, so it, you heard his story there. Uh, just an uh, unbelievable day. Hopefully he gets his van back or gets some help uh, getting to work. Uh, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Chip, thank you. One